host, welcome to Historia Spanarna, History Reconnaissance. This is images of the US 2nd Armored Division in Normandy, 1944. For you can have the cavalry and the infantry, and you can have the air corps and the field artillery. But when the just is hit the line for democracy, a halfback on a halfback, it's going to be tough for me. So it goes, thanks, go. The 2nd Armored Division landed at Omaha Beach in Normandy on June 9, 1944. Here is an M7 priest from the 14th Armored Field Artillery Battalion, one of three such battalions in the division. The M7 is a self-propelled gun with a 105mm howitzer. The name priest comes from the machine gun ring that looks like a church pulpit. Here the recovery crew is in for a treat, getting this priest out of trouble on the Normandy mud. An M31 tank recovery vehicle comes to the rescue. The M31, or T2 as it was sometimes called, is based on an M3 Lee chassis. The M31 had a power boom crane and a 30 ton winch mounted inside the hull. Operating the boom crane were hooked directly to a load. The M3 Lee 75mm main gun was replaced by a hatched with a dummy gun barrel attached. It also mounted two 30 caliber machine guns. This was the Normandy landscape facing the Allies. Sunken roads with high dense hedges called bocage. It restricted tank movement and visibility. It was a huge challenge for the Allies and a bonus for the German defenders. Tanks could push over the hedgerows, but then exposing the weak underside for German anti-tank weapons. One way to get through was explosives and bulldozers. The downside was the warning it gave the opposing side. A solution was to attach hedgerow cutting and breaching devices. Steel scrap from beached obstacles was used and welded to the front of the tanks. 75% of the 2nd Armored Division's Shermans, Stewarts and M10s were eventually equipped with these. The value of these devices is debated. Still, they were effective in many instances, enabling the tanks to bypass German strong points and roadblocks. In Operation Cobra, seven weeks after D-Day, tanks with cutting devices were used to knock holes in the hedgerows, then returning, leaving the way open for infantry and tanks to advance before the Germans could form new defensive positions. The US 2nd Armored Division destroyed 64 German tanks and 538 other German combat vehicles during Operation Cobra. They suffered 49 tank losses in the process. Here is an M3 US medium tank. 
a rare beast in Normandy. Judging from the turret, this looks like the Grant version. Or is it another version? A special? If you recognize it, drop a line in the comments. This is a model of an early Lee version. A lot more of the M3 tank in an upcoming video, so stay tuned and subscribe. I will update this video with a link to it when it's published. German Teller mine was a steel cased anti tank mine. It had a pressure plate that triggered the mine when a vehicle passed over it. Another gruesome device was the S mine, an anti personnel mine that launched three feet into the air before exploding and sending shrapnel in all directions. That's all folks, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.